Hey y'all, I hope you all had a beautiful, wonderful, marvelous, and blessed Friday. Yes, it's Friday. <laughs> I wonder who even came up with that word, Friday. Friday. Because at the end of the day, right, when we were kids growing up, Friday was like, oh, it's the weekend, baby. It's the weekend, baby. As an adult, it's like, yeah, it's Friday. Either we're going to go to the club, you're going to stay at home, you're going to kick it with your boo watch some movies, or are you going to kick it by yourself with a good book or some tarot cards, however you feel, whatever floats your boat. I just want you guys to know it's all about what you feel at the end of the day, because your feelings are real and they're very valid. And I wanted to come and talk to you guys about feelings today, because so many times we disregard our feelings, right? Because we love someone. And so we will hold in our anger, we will hold in our hurt, we will hold in our frustration because we want to refrain from hurting the other person. Well, I'm here to let you know that in all actuality, you are only hurting yourself. So if you are dealing with something that a friend did, your mother, your father, your sister, your brother, if they're unable to accept you letting them know how you feel, and how what they're doing makes you feel, then that's on them. But you have to let them know because if you fail to do that, then that's on you. You are the only one who can let someone know clearly how they make you feel. Because at the end of the day, like I said earlier, your feelings are valid. Never displace them. Never act like they are not there. Please never discount your feelings because they're very real and they will make you do things that you may never would have done because you explode, okay? So I just want you all to know, feel through your feelings. If you're unable to communicate clearly at the time when you're upset or frustrated or angry because I'm telling you, those are the wrong times to communicate, Take a step back. In the words of Martin Lawrence or, no, not Mike Lowry. Oh, gosh. I can't even think of his name. It's going to come to me, y'all. But in the words of Martin Lawrence, a.k.a. Oh, gosh, Mike. Oh, how, did I, how do I not know Martin Lawrence's name in the bad boys? But anywho, in the words of Martin Lawrence's Therapist on Bad Boys 1. Woo sa. If you need a day, take a day. If you need 10, take 10. But make sure you communicate how that person made you feel. Because I'm telling you, it's going to make you feel better. And if they're unable to accept it, that's something that they got to work on. But guess what? You can help them because you can let them know that I'm only telling you this because it's hurting me keeping it in and if they're unable to understand that part you know what you need to do you need to pray for them from a distance okay never stop loving never stop loving but you can keep your energy to yourself okay you can keep your your thoughts and your emotions to yourself because people thrive on that. All right, my brothers and sisters. So if you hear anything from me today, hear this. Feel through your feelings. Let people know what they did to hurt you. Because if you fail to do that, you will continuously hurt yourself. Be good to yourself. Be kind to yourself. And most importantly, Get inspired. Have a beautiful and blessed Friday and I'll see you tomorrow.